Our skyscraper is finally complete. Look at it in all of its beauty. All sides. As you can see, we have people working on each floor here. This was a pain in the butt because once I completed it all, I had to go get all the black stone to make the dark spots. Not only that, I realized for most of it, I had to go through and place all these slabs so mobs wouldn't spawn up there. And I raised it one more spawning section, but then I was gonna build another one here as you can see, but the water started freezing right here. I can't think of a way to get past that without adding light in here so it would make mobs not spawn, so I stopped right here. And I saved the top two floors to actually put proper floors at. I'm gonna get rid of these and probably this and have three high windows and we could turn this into just a really fancy office. Maybe even have two of them. Well, not the whole floor. We would divide it up into different rooms, but uh, this was such a fun build. And you know, it's not giving me bad numbers. I had a lot of comments saying like I could have made some stuff better, but this is all I'm looking for, just a simple loot. The more we build in the outskirts here, the more this will produce and I'll have easy material to grab. I mean, hey, at first this thing was just gonna be an empty shell. I didn't plan on putting a mob spawner, so. It looks even better at night. Well, uh, let's go build a Christmas tree today. I think that's what we're gonna do because, well, Christmas is in a few days and we don't even have a tree out yet. Wow, even up here those rooms look real. Ooh, I love that Burger Man logo. But I gotta give the city a break, I don't know. Just not popular on my channel for some reason, I don't know why. It just doesn't bring in as much views as I hoped for, but I guess that's just the way it is. You guys are interested in other stuff. Or my channel is just dying even more. Or you guys are just busy during the holidays, I don't know. Let's build a Christmas tree. Okay, out of all places, can you guess where I'm building my tree? Out of all places in my world. In front of the factory. <laughs> this has been an empty spot for way too long. At one point I wanted to put water here, but I never did, so... Let's just build a tree here. Yeah. I had to use a tractor because... I mean, you can't just plop a tree in the middle of nowhere. What, what is this, Minecraft? But breaking the fourth wall here, this is my tractor design without the redstone components under here yet. And we have a bunch of new copper. And I just thought, wow, I could probably really improve this thing. So we can obviously add a copper door and use copper trap doors instead of acacia trap doors. We also have this. And one thing I didn't realize, I have my copper box right here and we have the copper bulb. I love that. But what I didn't realize is I never made the chiseled copper. We have freaking chiseled copper. Oh, and I love this block so much because it looks very mechanical. It almost looks like a fan. And you think there's three other different stages of this block? This copper is the best block in the game now, in my opinion. Because I could simply just like replace that block just to add detail. Yeah, look at that. I'll tinker on this um, while I'm building the tree. But as you can see, our tree here, I'm going for a very different design. I want it, it's probably going to go taller than that, but I'm building it one branch at a time. I'm not going to do it like those trees over there. So in this fashion, we can actually hang like a stick or a fence and something below it like a whole, like this block, for example. <gasps> or even the copper bulb. Ooh, for our ornaments and lights. This isn't an easy process though. It's hard to create this perfect little swoop. You know what? In my humble opinion, as an awful tree builder in this game, that one didn't turn out half bad. And it goes well there too, so when Christmas is over, all we do is take off the ornaments and we have a nice, beautiful custom tree right in front of the factory. Yeah, yeah. The hardest part is building a branch out, especially since most of them are diagonal and have like curves to them. You have to build it, step back and view it from every single angle. And half the time you have to tear it down and just rebuild it. And uh, yeah, okay, I'm happy I'm done. <laughs> you know, I wonder if these will even look good. Actually, we could hang them with lighting rods. I got a feeling it'll look a little strange. I like how you can get rid of the lever on these things. Actually, oh, yeah, that's a good ornament. And we can mix in some of these to change it up. Hey, look at that. Not bad. Oh, I forgot those oxidized too. Oh, they'll turn green. That's handy. But I used three different lights, as you can see. I tried using sea lanterns, but they're just too white. Just looks better with these warmer colors. Now oh, we could probably wrap something around it, like a ribbon. Oh, I need to put a star. What was that? I'm honestly really happy with that. It's simplified, very simplified, but there's a uniqueness about it. Like, I planted this tree here with a tractor, 
and sloppily threw up my star and light fixtures that are in the game. It looks like a very Minecrafty tree, and I, I like it. Like, I don't really want to add much more to it. I feel like it would be too much. Should I throw presents under there? Perhaps. Not really good blocks. Well, there's a few good blocks. I was mainly thinking of glazed terracotta. Those might look good as wrapping paper, but we'll see. Oh, look at that. <laughs> see, I would actually prefer, as a, as a pain in the butt as this tree was to make, I'd like to get rid of every one of these you see and just have one of those. I've had my fill with this, though. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. No, I'm not ending the episode here. I'm just wishing you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, so as you know, over here we have some scaffolding. No, not this garbage. This kind of scaffolding. I wanted to make my own realistic looking scaffolding, and I really like the way this looks. It looks even better if you hang certain banners, like probably light gray banners from this. But this was also intended to be actually used as scaffolding. As you can see, you can go up this bit and then work on this level. But as you can see, there's nothing really to work on right there. It's kind of obviously just for looks. But I've been messing around with a new scaffolding in my test world, and I want to try it in some of the city here. Yes, I'm going back to the city. Maybe just for a minute. Wait, I should show you what I've been working on in the lab, too. Will this look good? It's totally up to you. I think it'll look good. I don't know, I feel like this city really needs scaffolding in a lot of places. Just considering it's a freaking city and it's constantly being built on. I know these are floating right here, but I don't care. <laughs> um, let's go over here. Boom, 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 boom. Voila, maybe they're patching up this brickwork right here. That looks stupid with the ladders. Oh no, oh yeah. I mean, no, but yeah, I really like it. Maybe I should do the trick to flip these over. Burger man, you okay in there? He really misses me. I should probably go give him his weekly hug. Now that I think about it, it would be pretty cool at some points to have something hanging off the side as window cleaners, but I have a building in mind that we can do that on because I do have another skyscraper build for the future, but it's going to require thousands and thousands of pieces of glass because it's primarily going to be a glass building and I can't wait. Might start that sooner than I think because I'm just so into the city right now. There we go. See how simple flipping the middle lightning rod makes it look? Just some nice little scaffolding. Hey, oh, burger man. Get off the counter. Unsanitary. Rabbit stew, please. The back rooms. Most of the time when I come down here, I'm usually in quote unquote character. I don't usually build down here. Whatever I end up building, I just show you as if it's already been here, you know? But um, I'm breaking that fourth wall once again this episode. <laughs> and, well, we have some archives I've been working on here and there in the past couple weeks, mainly just clearing it out and getting all the sandstone, terracotta, and stone for the top. Um, but this is going to be the archives for the Slime Science Center. It's where some books are gonna go, some contraptions, just paperwork and all that. Like, you already see some books up here. SSC Aquatic Research. Oh, there's one. Nuclear Fusion. Testificate Fatalities. Oh, gosh. What's this what? SSC City Blueprints. Oh. Slime Mutagen Research. Ooh. We got a lot more books to bring down here. I've, I was starting to expand it some more because it just didn't feel big enough. But I broke into some freaking red stuff. What is this? What? What? It, oh, okay. I had no idea I was this close. This is the main lab door. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't break it. Ah, we're good. I'd get into some serious trouble if I broke the main door. But you know what I find kind of sad, and it's my own fault? Is that the lab somewhat feels retired, doesn't it? Like, we don't come here anymore, and I feel like whatever project or experiment I do, I add it to the city. It has me feeling a little sad, like I don't want this place to end. So the only way to fix that is to come back here every once in a while and build some stuff. So that's why I'm building this. I guess this is as far as we can go here. I wonder what I should do with this room. Because I actually want to start filling up what I call the lower offices. It's called the back rooms, obviously, but I call them the lower offices to fit in with the lore of the lab. 
Like, that's what I did here. I want to start filling it up with just things where we just store things. I don't know. Like, what was this once used for? Looks interesting. Anyway, but that's what I'm doing in here, of course. Piles of boxes and stuff that probably just were left behind. And I am going to go through and actually fill all these up with, like, papers and documents. Because that really brings your world to life. Like, for example, these books up here. I won't even just put blank papers in there. I'd like to write on them, you know? But anyway, I got some... How can I do this? I want to put some computer monitors down here. Is this a blank black one? Perfect. Got to put some old monitors down here. Hey, look at that. I am in love with these new tough blocks. Have you guys been using them? I really want to start using them more. I think they'll look great as desks. So for example, I could even put a desk back here because I usually use polished granite as desks, but this is polished granite. Really it is, but just a little bit darker, which is the shade I've mentioned a few times. I've always wanted in this game because we have polished blackstone, polished deep slate, and then it goes to polished granite. There's no in between. And this is that perfect in between how did i okay that's just a bug <laughs> you can break those instantly ah i was so close to the effect i wanted what render distance am i at pretty low okay well i could even lower it even more to get that effect i want but what i wanted was to walk into the archive and then see fog that's how far back it went but you just see piles of this stuff and bookshelves that was the original effect i wanted you know what? Maybe this doesn't even have to be the main archives. This could just be a storage warehouse. We could eventually make an insane archives somewhere. Um, my computer <laughs> or this world is going to hate me so much for the amount of maps I use. Oh, wait. Don't I usually use... Oh, I made it dark. I haven't thought of the lighting situation. See, without... Okay, I hate this about maps, but I guess there's no workaround for it. I don't always want to use glow item frames because I don't want them always to be super lit up like this monitor right here. But if you don't, and you still want a light source to be nearby, no matter where you put the light source, it's always going to do this. It mainly looks bad on normal maps. Like, obviously, you won't have a white map like this. It still gives this effect on a normal map. There we go. We can just have some basic stuff on there. Might change it to glow item frames later. I actually really like this effect of it being all dark. Just giving the idea that... We don't use it anymore. This is just old archives, but it's bringing me back to one of my older episodes. I used to have, remember my second storage room underground? I used to have a piston door you'd walk through, but every time you'd walk through it, it would slowly turn on the lights one by one across the ceiling. And I got a feeling I want to try that here. Now this place is obviously not mob proof. I usually come down here in peaceful, which I may be in right now. Um, so <laughs> I think this would be an appropriate spot to have lights Although it wouldn't shine on the ground that well. That's the whole point. Like, it doesn't matter. Maybe the lights are weaker because this place is old. But I love that effect. So I'm probably... I, I won't be able to do it this episode. I'm running thin already, but uh, I think that would be a great idea. This place could look so much better. This is... I just... Uh, I'm disappointed in myself because I wanted it to be bigger. But... Oh, wait. I guess I could go that way. Or that way. I'll probably do that because I just imagine this place so much bigger than it is. I gotta say, a few of my favorite parts in the back rooms down here is this hallway right here, in particular, and this. I'm surprised I actually went down. I almost feel like this is- oh, I keep forgetting this stuff. <gasps> I could use that. I keep forgetting that. And I love that the further down I go, I make the place look more broken, I guess you could say. Some of the lights are out, there's crap on the ground. Perhaps this is where the archives should have went, even further down. I still have a bunch of time to decide. Not this episode, I mean. <laughs> I'm gonna have to end it here. Holidays are creeping up and I gotta be up somewhat er- Oh, God. I gotta be up somewhat early to start it all. Like, I just walked in here and seeing sandstone for so long, like, this is just a much more grimier feel. Oh, wow. That's the thing about building something in such detail like this and not putting a purpose down here because you will never come down here. Even the lights on the bomb are blinking. Yes, I was. they're building a bomb here. That's what it says. There's even slime on the table. I need to start doing that. I really got to start giving this place a purpose. How's the Christmas tree look? Looks a little strange. In RTX. Maybe it'll look better in daytime. Huh? Uh, kinda. Yeah, looks good to me. <laughs> 
Sorry for blabbering your ear off there at the end. So, uh, let me do it some more. Today's comment question is from... Trip Z Gaming. Do you recommend your laptop? And if so, what are the specs and what is your FPS? Would you prefer a different laptop or PC? If my apartment burned down, hopefully it doesn't, knock on wood, because there's been an apartment fire at this apartment complex before, I would buy the same exact laptop. Obviously with better specs because as the year goes by, the better laptop usually drops prices. So I think there's an even better one than I have now, or better specs that is, like a better graphics card and probably processor that will equal about the same price as mine is now. Now I believe I have the GTX 3050, and again, you remember, there's a difference between a 3050 graphics card that's in a actual computer and a laptop. Usually the laptop 3050 equates to about probably like a 1080 or 1060, I don't know. It's not impressive. It's not as impressive as a full-on 3050. Uh, but I mean, I'm running RTX right now. Uh, I'm not getting full 60, but I'm getting about 40 to 50, I'd say. And I, <laughs> I'm telling, I'll tell you what, I do not, I can't recommend this laptop enough. No, I'm not sponsored by Legion. I think I have the specs and what I'm, the laptop I'm using in my description below. If you're interested, I think my brother even recently got a Legion because it's just such a good laptop. So no, I would not recommend anything else. Wow, look at my house. I would not recommend anything else and I would not get a desktop PC because I personally don't want one. Obviously get what fits your needs the most. I want a laptop because I have the perfect setup for a laptop. I love laptops. They're, you can take it to go. There's not too many instances where I need to take my laptop, but when I need to, I will. I've just always been a laptop person and I, I like it. That's all I got to say. And you guys were the ones that helped me get it. Also, I saw your comment, Pathfinder, and I was going to write it down, but I forgot to. I am going to try to stream next year, finally. I shouldn't even say that because I keep saying I am and I'm not. So we'll see what Dallas does. Let's hope he holds up to his word. I want to thank some donors before we end off here. Specifically, Flesh Artistry with a massive, generous 100 donation. Now, your name is Natalie P. I put you right here. I couldn't tell if you wanted that name over your real name. Um, you're going to have to let me know. But I just put it as that for now. Um, Natalie, that is huge and very generous of you. Because I didn't know if you wanted a villager to be named Flesh Artistry or just a villager to be named Natalie in your last name, but I don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, without using Glow Ink... I, f uh, I feel like you can't read it that well. It's just this is really dropping my frames now. But nope, nope, I can't sacrifice. I will walk in here at 5 FPS to contribute this to you guys. <laughs> but Natalie, that is insane. Thank you so much for that Christmas gift. And z way on z way on thank you for your nice donation as well. z way on I really appreciate that. z way on Am I saying that right? And James Irvine, or Irvine. Thank you very much, James. I appreciate that as well. That's very thoughtful of you. All of you. Flesh, you made it in my book. Or Natalie, if you want me to call you Flesh. Seems a little weird. I could bring a villager over to my house. Name her Flesh. <laughs> no, that's weird. <laughs> See, that's why I'm confused. Natalie, let me know. I don't know. But everyone, thank you so much for watching. I know this was kind of a... I get, it feels lackluster to me, this episode does. Usually when I start talking a lot, that means I, <laughs> I'm trying to fit in some time to get this video out. It's just the holidays, man. It, it gets stressful. But uh, it is what it is. I'm going to be on like a five-day hiatus, so I won't be able to upload. I'm getting a lot of frames around here. Oh, I'm on high render distance. But I probably won't be uploading for a week. Um, but once we get back, oh boy, we are going to be attacking projects like no other. I know the city's not of people's interest right now, but I want to build this new skyscraper so bad. I'm ready to get my city skyline going. Isn't that a video game? City skylines? Well, I want to make one in Minecraft. But don't you worry. Eventually, I'm going to get to making my new Witcher schools here soon. Oh, there's just so much to do. Minecraft. You know how it is. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye, and Merry Christmas.